It's a daily occurrence and probably more so than when I was on as a young officer because quite frankly people at that time they were locking everybody up and uh, that changed over the years and we saw more and more people who were actually in the community or on the streets or whatever uh, as the years went on and we had more and more incidents where our officers were confronted with some serious challenges uh, whether they were acting out off their their meds at the time uh, having some kind of an episode, psychotic episode, oftentimes became a very, very dangerous situation. Officers would be uh, actually trained uh, in how to handle people who are in crisis, people who are off their meds, people who are contemplating or attempting suicide. And we applied it here and it just took off and it's an unbelievably successful program here in Columbus and Franklin County. I can tell you uh, that we have had numerous instances over the years where someone was in crisis, uh, maybe it was because they, off, they were off their meds or just some kind of an event, and they had some kind of a weapon, and officers were actually able to talk them down because there was a CIT, or a crisis intervention team officer, at the scene or called to the scene, and they were able to deal with this individual in the right way and uh, handle it, handling it just like a mental health professional. And we're able to handle it in a way that deadly force was not used, the person got the help they needed, and everybody, including the officer, uh, came out of it safe. I think that it's probably more prevalent than people realize. And uh, I don't think there's anybody who doesn't know someone or who ha doesn't have a family member somewhere who has been through this. And until you go through this, I don't think you really understand the challenges. You know, I remember as a young officer being called to the scene where we had someone who was just put out as a disturbance. We got there and someone was just total crisis. And they were violent with their family members, with us when we got there. We were not expecting this when we walked in the door. And fortunately for us, the family members helped defuse it. I mean, they helped us get this person under control without injuring uh, that individual or any of the officers or any of the family members. Uh, and it really got me to th thinking about how important it is. This is a team thing. You know, it's not just the police coming in and being the bad guys and trying to handle everything. It's a team effort where everybody has the same goal in mind as to get that person the help they need without anyone getting injured. But over the years, we've become more sophisticated with that. And we have officers who can actually talk to them about the drugs that they're on, the medications they're on, whether they're on the proper dosage and they're keeping up with the regimen, all of that. I mean, that's the kind of discussions and conversations we're having now rather than just handling it like a standard uh, disturbance. So that's been important.